Hi everyone, so in these videos we will talk about state and props more in depth, okay. So we will try to modify this code, here let's say you have a count. Don't worry about like we are writing very basic application, these are just to give you a more clear understanding like how we are actually dealing with the state, okay. And what we are doing is count plus plus or you can say increase count this is action I'm taking and this can be on button also you can create one button in the header and on the button you can add on click method because JavaScript is all vanilla so we are able to write the basic DOM events this dot increase count and what the increase count is doing it will be updating the count value so this dot set state what you can do is here we have the count so count we will be updating by one sorry and this dot state dot count plus one right so whatever the whenever you click on to this button we are able to see the new count and we are passing this count only to the child component or you can say value value equal to this dot state dot count okay this dot state dot count and now we are getting it this dot props dot value we don't have this loop and all So we can call it this dot props dot value. Now we can see how we are passing data. Constructor, there is no need for now. So here we had a state. We are clicking on some button, keep increasing the count value. So whenever the count is getting updated, we are actually calling this render function and passing the new value in the value property as a count. Okay. So you can see this code is happening right what is what actually is happening if you see and try to debug this then in the component we can see the two components are there right and when you click on it this value is getting changed 23 turn to 4 and this is app component right it is having state so we try to zoom it I can't zoom this but I hope you will be able to see this what it is so in the app component we have a state and hello component is only receiving this as a props you can see the props value okay so this is what is happening so whenever you increasing the count what is happening it is updating the state and when the state is getting updated it will re-render the component okay this is what is happening now you can see this example of state updation right similarly you can also pass some props okay i wanted to pass some more thing is like text example counter right and how can you access it using this dot props dot text And now you need a wrapper around it. So how we are getting text, you can see this text we are getting which is static. It can be anything. It can be any data you are passing from the parent component to the child component, right? Here we are just writing the DOM event this is how we write a DOM event or you can say event in react component to update data it can be on click on change on key up on key down on submit anything okay here you can add an input text field also input type text okay value you will be getting something from the state like I have a this dot state dot uh, you can say count only okay and let's do this 
to something else let's keep it the text only text is another state we are going to create and text will be passing to the child component okay whatever you are typing on the text field how can i capture that value i have to write on change method on the text field on change and this will be this dot handle change another dom event same thing i have to do i have to bind it to the this context there are shorter way of doing it so we'll use that in the later version and here i will be writing the handle change function here when you actually doing the own change right you will be accessing the event object this is a dom event so every dom event when that happens they will have an event object so what we can do is const value what we are getting is e dot target dot value it will give me the value which you are typing in the text field and based on that i will keep updating the state and what i want to update is the text value with this value which i just got okay and the same value i am passing here as a text so this dot state dot text and value for the text field is also same right so whenever you are typing something this text is also getting updated this text is also getting updated in the text field right now if you just see this let's see we are not getting any errors you can see right so what is happening is we are actually increasing the count also then also it is refreshing we are updating some value then also it is updating right so it is a state update is happening here you have two properties in state any one of them get, getting changed the re-rendering will happen okay and here we have a text field simple we are doing a handle change in the handle change we are just updating the state so whenever you are actually typing something here even a single character it will keep updating the state and once the update state is update is happening it is re-entering the child component okay that is my objective of showing this demo and this is how you can manage the state you can keep adding the properties and from different dom events you will be updating the state and whenever the state is getting changed this render function will be triggered and you will keep passing the new props data from the parent component and the child component will keep showing it whatever you are passing okay in this text field the value is also coming from the state you can see this magic value this dot state dot text so you are typing something state update is happening then you are able to see that value in the text field these are called as a control component we will talk about it in coming videos